so today we're going to test uh, pump E85 that tests at about 75% um, for a baseline, that's a control. Then we're going to test that same E mixed with 20% methanol. And then we're going to test mixed with 40% methanol. And we're going to see if power changes, um, spool time differences, if we can pick that up. And then most importantly, uh, fuel demand changes. Um, if I need to put more fuel in it, if it's the same, if I do have to put more fuel in it, how much. Basically, can you stretch an E85 car with some methanol without changing the fuel system? So, test subject. <clears throat> test subject is my 84 300ZX with a 5.3 PRC 220 heads, BTR stage 4 turbo cam, and a Pulsar 88 millimeter turbo, G50 1900. Um, got a 10 pump and Bosch 210s and I know what this combo has made on high boost and I know what it makes on wastegate but we're going to baseline it again today to try to keep everything consistent. Then I will make sure we start at the same coolant temp and try to keep uh, Everything is consistent as I can temperature wise, so we're just testing the fuel. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to do our E85 baseline now. It's going to be on wastegate. So, let's get that started. So our baseline on wastegate, zero on the dome, E85 made a tick under 700, 699.7. So now we're going to drain the E85 out of it and go to the 20% and we will run it the same pole, start at the same coolant temp and see what it does. We got 20% going in. All right, so we got 20% methanol in there, so we're going to make the run now and see what happens.
So on 20% methanol with no changes to the tune, it needed about 5% more fuel. Uh, but it did pick up 14 horsepower at the tire. So given that, I'm going to make a change I said I wasn't going to originally. I'm going to add a little bit of fuel, run a slightly richer mixture, and uh, put a little bit more timing into it. We'll see what happens. So far we have uh, E85, 20% methanol, with no tuning changes. It was adding about 4 to 5% fuel on the closed loop. Keep that in mind. Pretty close to wanting the same air fuel though. And then this was a degree of timing and I richened the target mixture up just to like 0 0.2 points on the air fuel so it's pretty promising that's 20 percent so we're gonna try draining that out and uh putting the 40 percent in seeing what that does so we've got the 40 percent in there now we're gonna run that see what that does So on 40%, we were at 746. Now these are all the same boost. The only difference is fueling. And it did take a, you know about 8% more fuel total. Um, our injector duty went up about 8% to get to this number, which isn't really that terrible. Um, and then I did add timing when we were seeing a trend. So between these first two were the same timing. Add a degree, add a degree. So we're up in power. IAT, I have not been changing out the water for the intercooler. So the IAT is actually higher with 40% methanol than it was on the E85. And we're still up almost 47 horsepower so not only that but comes in way faster
so I actually started the E85 pull the soonest but yeah every mixture with methanol has spooled the turbo faster and flashed the converter sooner and the 40% did it even faster so cool shit so given the results of the last pull I've decided to add uh, dome pressure to it so we can see what it makes with more boost So I put 10 on the dome and it made um, 17 pounds of boost and we made 956 which I'll tell you right now on E85 that took about 19 maybe 20 pounds of boost to do with this combo. So that's uh, pretty wild to me. 40% methanol mixed with E85. And the injector duty is pretty reasonable, sitting at about 58 to 60 percent. And uh, we could always bump fuel pressure if I really needed to. Um, get a little more out of the 210s if it comes to that, which I don't think it will. I think all in we're going to end up around 80 percent duty at the most. So it's pretty cool. So here's a comparison of that last pull at 17 pounds of boost with the 40% mix to a 19 pound uh, E85 pull from April 17th on straight E85. So we're on less boost, made more power. Here's from the last pull, so 16.7 pounds. 117 degree intake air temp. So that was 956 wheel horsepower. So closing thoughts, 40% mix used about 8% more injector duty, but made a significant amount more power. 20% uh, used about 4% more injector duty and still picked up power. Um, seems like it's worth it. Stretch fuel system a little further and it works out to be pretty cheap still. So I might try this for a bit. Thanks for watching.